Well, we just sat through that. The Walking Dead, Season 11, Episode 24. So, it came, came out the door with a bang. Season 1 and stuff, man, came with a bang. We went out with, went out in tears and stuff, man. Went out with a whimper. I held it together. Most of the episode, they had like, they had like a little moment. And that got me. Like in the middle of the episode, it got me. But the end of the episode, <laughs> the end of the episode, it, yo, let's get to it. So I've been doing these videos for years and stuff, man. Whenever everybody was like, man, The Walking Dead is over and this trash and blase, blase and this and that. I think viewership just dropped off because they start going on the internet. So we start getting episodes a week early. So we watching them a week early, week early. So why are we going to watch them on television whenever we've already watched them? So I think that that's a big reason why the viewership on television numbers dropped a lot. Because we already seen the episode by the time it aired. But anyways, so this episode right here is Rest in Peace. This is the series finale of The Walking Dead. So man... We are in the hospital, man. Daryl has a race little ass kicker. She is on death's bed. She has gotten shot. Daryl is trying to find some help for her, man. He, the stormtroopers, they end up finding him in their, their stuff. She's on, on the gurney, uh, passed out. They knock Daryl out, leave him for dead. Walkers are bar barricading a, a, a barrage of walkers. Or coming on onto the hospital on deathbed, man. She scrounges up the energy to get up, and she saves the day, man. So she ends up she ends up all uh, locking the doors and putting stuff in front of it, so barricading. That's the word I was looking for. I used it in the wrong context earlier, but uh, barricading of uh, the doors to save Daryl, save and herself and stuff, and then she passes out. So it starts off with an emotional moment. You're like, oh, and they go, like, oh, because that's one thing about The Walking Dead. That's why it it was so popular back in the days. Because it was like, oh, it was kind of like like Game of Thrones and stuff. Like your favorite character, you know, they they might die any episode, so you gotta stay tuned. It's like the soap opera where anybody can be going at any second, so the stakes were always high. But then. We we develop so such relationships with certain certain characters. Whenever whenever they start killing off certain people, that messed up viewership as well. Cause it's like, damn, did you have to do that? The back to, to the Glen. That's whenever the show fell off a lot. They met they messed up with that death, being that he was fighting. They they teased him being alive or dead for a whole season. He was trapped underneath the, the trash can, and then whenever they finally came back, then they killed him. So, that messed up. Anyways. Anyways. So, uh, the music teacher, we, we get back to, to the crew. They all in, in a group, man. They fighting against these walkers and stuff. The music teacher, he's he's uh, fighting. His girlfriend, she gets taken in front of him, man. And unlike Liam Neeson, he cannot save her. She gets... Torn the pieces in front of him, man. He gets messed up. Like you don't know if if they if they really got him or not. But we see later on that they got him. So uh and Pamela, she's taking all her her people to the to the gated community. And everybody else is left to suffer. Uh Mercer, we see we see them as a crew. And he saves Princess and stuff, man. So he, he they have a, a nice little moment. And the crew gears up for war. Everybody is, is getting their stuff together. Uh, Rosita and the crew, they barely make it make it to the children, man. She she been trying to trying to find her child and stuff. They barely make it, man. The walkers are on them, but saves the day, saves the day, man. Is so. It's, it's a lot of emotion going on in the episode early, man. Like, it's, it's a roller coaster for, for the whole thing. Hospital is being overrun. They're trying to save who they can. It is walkers 
everywhere, everywhere, man. They gotta fight for the for the, the fight for their right to part, not for their right to party, to live. But uh, so it's 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 bad. Like uh, the music teacher, he he ends up dying. It's an emotional moment. Everybody crying. Uh, Daryl is giving a little ass kick of blood. They have to have to get away. They have to get out of there. It's being overran. The walkers are breaking through the windows and stuff, man. It's it's dire. It is dire. We get back to, to some of the other crew, man. They are they are out out and about on the outside, man. They are climbing. Eugene and and them is fighting. They they have the babies and stuff, man. They are getting away. They are trying to. Uh, Father Gabriel. I don't know why he he climbed first. Him and Eugene climbed first, and Rosita and the baby they are last. They should have she should have been first, but she's climbing up. She she falls backwards, man. She falls into him, and you that's the first emotional moment where it's like, oh shit, where it's like tears, and she falls in the crew, and it's like, no. She busts up out of there. I'm like, yes, yes, yes. Feel like uh, like the wrestler, the wrestler dude of yes, yes, yeah. So man, it was very emotional at that point, man. I'm like, <sighs> uh, my heart dropped in my shoe whenever that happened, man. Lydia, we get to her, man. She has a nub, just like Aaron and stuff. I know that gotta suck, but they are back on the scene, uh. Maggie, she catches Negan. He's trying to sneak off. She's like, what are, what are you doing? What are you doing? Look, look, Maggie, I got to do this. And I got to be the one to do it. Y'all have to make it back. I have to make up. I have to atone for what I did. The other night when I was on my knees and I was about to die and my family was about to die. Everybody that I cared for was about to die. All I can think about is what I took from you. I have to be the one to make the sacrifice and save y'all. I I can never make up for for what happened, man. I know how you feel, and I that hurts me so deeply. And to see the growth of Negan's character, that is such a beautiful thing, man. Like Negan, I I was the biggest Negan hater. If you go back to my videos, whenever I had the Negan saga, and I was like, I hope they kill him, they kill him. I love Negan now. So I'm glad that he's going to be in the Dead City or whatever. I'm happy that he, he continues. Negan is my favorite character right now. Like, I, I love Daryl, but Daryl never gets to speak. So I'm, I'm a Negan fan, and, and I love his trajectory and stuff. And Maggie, she doesn't forgive him, but she grabs him, and she pulls him pulls him up into the, into the house and stuff at that time. It's like, uh, we don't need you to make this sacrifice and stuff, man. Come on. We're going to do this together. We're going to try to do do what we can. Uh, we get to see Rosita, and she's, tall, she's with her baby and stuff, and Eugene goes to her, and he tries to give her a little respite or whatever. Like, I'll, I'll watch the baby and let you get her a little rest. No, I'm good. She's trying to soak in every moment. She shows him. She got dead. Oh, damn. In the comic books, in the comic books, she died way earlier and stuff. And her and her and uh, Eugene had finally got together in the comic books. They were an item. It was like an, it was like they were together, but they weren't in love. It's like he he loved her, but she just kind of like I don't know. He he I think she could like do what she wanted. It was like an open relationship. But uh, anyways, whenever they put the heads on the spikes, that's whenever Rosita died in the comic book. So just trying to. I'm going to give you some comic book facts and tell you how the comic book ended and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, so she got bit, so, uh, Eugene, that hurt him. That hurt me as well. I'm like, no, ah. Pamela leaving it. Everybody to die at the gates, man. So it is looking bad. It's, it's like, how fucked up a human being can you be? They did all this to rebuild society just to fuck it up at the end, man, and make it worse than how it was. Like, we had a chance to reset everything, and we took all the all the ugly things of society and brought them, brought them out again. How you are better than somebody and just leaving people out to dry and stuff. Uh, they end up they end up getting the jump on her and stuff. Everybody comes from the woodworks, 
and Maggie and, and Negan, they plot to assassinate her, but they don't really have to. Father, Father, uh, uh, Father Gabriel, he takes off and he's like, we have a chance to make this better. Whoever tries to stop me, I'm going to kill y'all. I'm opening up this gate to let the people in. We got to do better. And they, Pamela's like, kill him, kill him, shoot him. And Daryl finally, like, speaks. He finally opens up his mouth. And he's like, what we're going to do, we, we, this is, this is enough of this shit. It's time for us to do better. We had a chance to do better. And we, you wanted it like the old ways. And you brought it back to the most fucked up parts of the old ways. Let's do this shit the right way. So they end up opening up, up the gate. Everybody turns against Pamela, man. And now they have to end up getting rid of this giant horde that she caused. And so it's like, it's like uh, how are they going to do that, man? We see they, they, they end up getting bombs and stuff like that. But uh, before that, she that's, that's her worst nightmare is losing power. So now she is under everybody. She's not the the top honcho, head honcho in charge and, and all that. So she sees Lance at the gate. So he, he makes a guest appearance. And she's like, I'm ready to just end it. She goes to let Lance bite her. And Maggie, Maggie shoots, shoots him, snipes him. And she's like, uh-uh, no, you are going to suffer. You're going to suffer. So they got to figure out how to, to beat this horde or whatever. They end up putting a bunch of barrels of gasoline and stuff and they pour it into the sewers and, and this and that. They lead the walkers with music and they it's a big, huge explosion, like a large CGI explosion. And, and the, the narrows, or whatever they call it, the gated community blows it up. So it's like nobody is going to have these matches in this good ass, this good ass place. Like we are all going to be on an even playing field and stuff. Like this going to be the sacrifice. So we killed this this horde, and we're getting uh, rid of the elitism. Um, Maggie bears her heart to Negan, and she's like, "I can't forgive you. Like, I I can't forgive you because you remind me of everything that I've lost. All I have are my memories, and I whenever I see you, no matter how hard." How long it takes is I I always just see you mocking uh Glenn and stuff. It's it, I hate to see Glenn like that, but every time I look at you, that's what I see. So she she doesn't forgive him, but she's like, you are welcome to live with us and do this and that. But if I find it hard to look at you, if I can't be around you, you gotta respect that because you took something very dear away from me. So. She finally bears her heart to him, and it, it hurts him. Like, it, it kills him. And in the comic books, like, Negan does turn out to be kind of a good character, but they shun him away from the society. Like, uh, Rick and everybody, they're like, look, you helped us and stuff. They, you helped us get a defeat alpha and this and that, but you have to leave. So, Negan ends up living on his own. So that he just leaves everybody. So that's what happens in the comic books with Negan's storyline. So he does end up surviving. Thanksgiving happens, everybody is together, it looks like the most beautiful scene in the world, uh, Rosita, she's chilling, she's like, uh, I want to soak this all in, it's so beautiful, it's perfect, I want to remember this, and you're like, how do you want to remember this, like, you, like, it's not gonna ever, never happen again, and so she whispers in Father Gabriel's uh, ears and stuff, and little ass kicker is looking, she knows something's wrong, so she tells him that she's gotten bit, man, so her time is finite, She's about to die and stuff, man. So that, that is very hard, man. We see her on a deathbed and everybody goes up to Rosita and stuff. And Father Gabriel, he's not the last person to see her and stuff. She with a baby and Father Gabriel's like, we're going to meet you again. And he says a nice prayer for her. But the last person to see her is uh, Eugene. Eugene is with her. And like, he always been in love with her, man. They have a very touching scene. Because they came in together. Like I want to. I want to <laughs> I wanna tear up now. But it was. It was Abraham. Rosita. And, and Eugene. And they came on the scene together. And he's the last one standing. And they have their moment. And she dies and stuff man. So it is. 
who it is heartbreaking. It is heart wrenching, man. Uh, one year time jump occurs. Eugene is a daddy, man, so he's doing good. Uh, Ezekiel is the new leader. He's a born leader. He always was a born leader, man. King Ezekiel. So I respect. I thought he was gonna die a long time ago. He died in the comic books. He his head was on the spikes and stuff. And so he died with Rosita and them. A lot of people died in that. Um, in that. Um, but he survives in 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 here. So he he is the new governor, and Mercer is his assistant governor or whatever. So that is their trajectory. Judith gets a compass in the mail and stuff, and it turns out to be a compass uh, that she had gave Negan and stuff. And he writes her a nice little letter for her to find her way and this and that. Maybe she'll end up going looking for her parents or something when she gets a little older. You never know. She, it might come in handy or something. Uh, Maggie and Daryl, they make plans. It's like, we, we, everything is settled and stuff now. Like, it's a big world. We have to start branching out. We got to find what else is out there. So they end up going to explore and pretty much setting up their series and stuff. And they head out like Maggie is going to go one way. She's trying to find civilization and this and that and explore new places. Daryl, he's doing the same thing. He gets on his motorcycle. He takes off. Dog. We see, we see Rick with five minutes left to go. Rick is writing a letter. He's by a fire, by a fire and stuff. We see Michonne at a fire writing a letter. And they are talking to their children and stuff. We see the kids. We see all the silhouettes and all the flashbacks and everything. It is beautiful. I start bawling at that time. I'm like, all I wanted, especially in this last season, I just wanted to see Rick and them again. And we get it. If they don't come out and in, in help fight or anything like that, but it's setting up their trajectory. They're going to have their little series. And we we see he's trying to get away from, from the people with the helicopters and stuff. He look like he's having a tough time of it. Little ass kicking in them. They're getting ready to reset. They see everything is beautiful around them. They are living a, a better life. It looks like everything is going to look better for them. Michonne is out on the road, and she's she's determined. She's gonna find Rick, and she's in a Ronin mode. Like if you if you watch the Marvel stuff in in Ronin, Hawkeye, uh, and stuff. So she's in Ronin mode. She's killing everything. She's on a horse. She has a mask on, swords. She's in Michonne mode from from beginning of Michonne. Whenever Michonne first came up. And she's going towards the big, one of the biggest hordes we've ever seen. In the, the helicopter, they rain down on Rick and stuff, man. Yo, it's, it's a beautiful ending right there. Like, to see everything will continue. And I, I ball. I ball whenever I see Rick and <laughs> Like, hey, so, so, I'm, I'm invested. I'm invested. So, man, hey, I thought this might have been the end. But I might, I don't know if I'm going to do Fear of the Walking Dead. I was doing Fear of the Walking Dead. I didn't do last season. Last season. I don't know if I'm going to continue with that. Uh, I'm probably going to do, do the Rick and Michonne series. Will I do uh, Daryl series? I don't know. Dead City. Y'all let me know if I should continue or whatever. But I've been faithful with the Walking Dead universe, man, for all these years and stuff, man. So I'm I'm happy that I stuck with it all these years and, and never never uh, shunned them and watch everything. I'm I'm a fan. Oh, and in the comic books, the way that it ended was they had a time jump. Rick died from uh from Pamela's son killed killed uh Rick and Rick was already people were following Rick and he was be about to become the new leader and stuff. So they killed him because he was a threat and this and that. Because he ended their reign of their living or whatever. Uh, so a time jump occurred. Pamela was overthrown and everything. Uh, Maggie and Lil Herschel. Lil Herschel, he had like a, a circus. Like there weren't any more walkers like in the city anymore. And so he had a circus. And in his circus, he would show walkers. Because the walkers were like a, a something everybody didn't see anymore. And so he like, 
yo, man, how the fuck you gonna, you gonna have these walkers? Carl said that to Herschel. And he ended up killing the walkers. And it was his property. So Carl had like a bounty on him. Well, not a bounty. He had like a warrant for his arrest. So he ended up going on the run. And he goes to all these different places. And it shows the, the impact that Rick had on society. People had statues of Rick. And people had their tales to talk about how Rick affected their lives and everything. Then he, he ended up coming back to the Commonwealth and, and whatever. And he, he, I don't know if he was at the Commonwealth because he lived like on a farm on the outskirts of the city or whatever. He had his, uh, his, his, uh, trial and Michonne was the, the jur the, the judge. And so she pardoned him and stuff and, and this and that. And Carl goes back and he meets his family and stuff and then they read a book and he tells his, his daughter all about, uh, Rick. And so, so that's how The Walking Dead ended. So that that's how it ended in the comic books. But anyways, man, uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Go be the greatest of the most hated man. How did y'all like the uh the finale? I ain't gonna say the finale was a nine, it was a ten out of ten. It wasn't perfect or anything. It was it was cool. I'm glad it set up more things, but like it was alright. It was alright, but they, it had its moments, man. It I got it got it got tears out of me. But uh, like, comment, subscribe. Go be the greatest of the most hated man. I let you boy. Hit that like button too.